Welcome ladies and gentlemen, in this video I will teach you the new app download method for your Fire Stick. And by following this step-by-step -step tutorial, you will enable a selection of exclusive applications you may not have come across before. And no matter your level of experience, this video is for everyone. All you have to do is follow each step carefully till the end for the best results. So let's not waste any more time and let's dive in right away. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to head over to your Fire Stick settings. It's going to be the settings gear all the way to the right. And you want to go down and click on My Fire TV. We're going to click on About. You will enter this screen right here. You will see your device name and the types. You're going to click on Fire TV Stick or whatever it says for you. In this case, seven times. After clicking on it seven times, you will enable developer options. As you can see, I'm already a developer. By hitting back on the remote control, you will see the developer options appearing. For now, we can press back the home button and we're going to go to the search magnifier and we're going to search for an app called Downloader. Just by clicking on the D, you will see Downloader appearing right here in the search section. Click on it and you will see this orange application. Click on it again to confirm to enter this application to download it and install it. Just have to click one more time. And now it's going to start processing the app and install it for us. It is pretty fast. And after that is done, you can go ahead and open it up. The first time opening up this application, it's going to ask you to allow access. You're going to allow it by hitting OK and click OK again to enter the application fully. Then you can go over to the search section and you can type in a code here. This will enable us, instead of typing in a www, so World Wide Web link, just the code that will link us to that web page to download an application. So before we go any further, we're going to press the home button on your remote control. You'll be taken back to the home screen. And we're going back to the settings gear. In the settings gear, we're going to click on My Fire TV again. And here we're going to go this time to developer options. We're going to click on install unknown apps and we're going to toggle on downloader, the app we just downloaded. Now we can click back the home app, the home button on our remote control, and we're going back to the app we just downloaded. Where is it? Oh, wrong category. Sorry about that. There you go. And there you enter the app again. Click on the keyboard. Now we're going to type in the code. The code is going to be one zero three eight one. Now you can press either the play button on your remote control or hover over go and click OK. It's going to automatically connect us to that web page. You don't need to do anything right now. Just be patient as it's going to load up the application we're trying to download and it's going to install it also automatically. You will see this screen popping up. All you have to do is press the down button on your remote control and then the right so you can hover over the install button and click OK to go ahead and install it. After that is done, you can click done. Make sure to delete the file we just downloaded so we can free up the space on our Fire Stick. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of space with the Fire Stick, so it is important to go ahead and delete it. You won't be needing it now. You can confirm to delete it. And now before we enter the new application, we're going to go back to the home screen. We're going to go once more time. Now, it's not going to be the last time probably. Uh, oh yeah, it is going to be the last time. Sorry about that. We're going to go to the settings gear, My Fire TV, and we're already in install unknown apps. Just press the back arrow button and press the enter button. To enter install unknown apps again and unlink will be appearing. Toggle it on. Now you can press the home button. And we can open up the app we just downloaded. Go ahead and enter it. And this will enable a library of applications. Uh, 
some you might have heard of some you've probably used previously but you can't uh, seem to download it now anymore they will probably be in this library we're gonna click ok to add a library we're gonna type in a code a code can be a name or a series of numbers in this case our store name is going to be called everything because it has literally everything go ahead and type in everything just like how you spell it and we're almost done there you go now you can uh, click on next it's going to go ahead and load it up for us the first thing that you will receive is a welcome message uh, very important to read it um, because all the applications or at least most of them are free but if you want the best entertainment experience and you want everything in the world literally everything then highly recommend you visiting the link in the welcoming message to get an, an, an exclusive sub this is what i use personally uh very satisfied with it i've been using it for so quite some time now very very re reliable and stable um after you read it some might be interested some not that's totally fine go ahead and enter it and here you'll see all the applications also you'll see when they're updated they're all recently updated um it's categorized in all kind of things uh things you might need uh the best players out there uh these are all things that i recommend uh, just to be clear um and you have the live section you have the content section you have the recommend recommended section uh but you also have the tools section to go ahead and demonstrate how to download and install an application it is very easy we're gonna go ahead and click on an app it's gonna pop up a window to download it unfortunately you can't see everything clear sorry about that that's just how it is uh, it's gonna pop up the menu to download you're gonna click ok it's gonna pop up another menu after it's downloaded to install it you're gonna click ok again it's gonna open up this window again the white window where you can um, confirm the installation just click down and right to hover over the install button and it's gonna go ahead and install it for us and that's it we can go over to our home section click on the home button go to the apps and here you'll see the app we just downloaded this app will kill all background processors and apps to free up space and make your fire stick run faster that being said how it works is very easy you just click on it it's gonna open it up it's gonna release memory and it's gonna close that window up automatically that's how easy it is like i mentioned before with this application you will get a library with exclusive entertainment applications that will take your entertainment experience to a whole new level that being said this video has come to an end please feel free to leave me some feedback Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.